how to get your gun into the fight. Hey everybody, BK with Masada Tactical with another video. And today we're going to talk about a question that came up following some of our videos about point and shoot about how to get the gun into the fight to begin with, meaning how do I draw from concealment. So arguably the most important part of a fight is actually getting the gun into the fight. I don't care how good of a shot you are, if you could not get the gun into the fight in a good, precise manner, in a timely manner, then none of your shooting skills are going to matter at all anyways, right? Drawing from concealment is a little different than drawing from a holster that's carried on the outside because obviously I got to work around my concealment garment. So there are three steps to the draw. Okay, step number one is actually removing that garment, whether it's a shirt I got to pull out or a jacket I got to move around. Step number two is getting a proper grip. From all the fundamentals of marksmanship, that is the only step that I have to make sure that I am 100% good on. If I'm not grab, grabbing the gun in a good manner, then I'm not gonna be accurate when I'm shooting. And the third step is actually drawing the gun out of the holster, right? So following those three steps, I'm gonna move my shirt out of the way, I'm gonna grab my gun, so sliding my arm all the way up on top of the back strap and drawing up and presenting the gun in the same manner that we discussed when we did the point shoot videos uh, last week and the week before. So again, one more time, I'm clearing, grabbing, and shooting. Now, one thing that's important to note, I, I do wanna go fast, but I cannot blend steps or overlap steps, right? If I go for my gun before I cleared my garment, I'm gonna end up grabbing shirt, right? If I try to draw before I have a proper grip, I'm not gonna have a good hold on the gun when I'm actually shooting. So I do have to make sure that it is a one, two, three sequence done in that order and not try to mesh or overlap steps on top of each other. We always emphasize and we stress dry work as an opportunity for you to train and get better on the skills. It doesn't take time or not a lot of time. It doesn't cost you any money. You don't have to go to the range, right? It's something that you can easily do at home. Working in the draw and presentation of the gun is one of those skills that is super important for you to work and super easy for you to work on, arguably. Make sure that you work in a sterile training environment, meaning make sure that there's no live ammo, so wherever you practice it, you're safe. Triple check your gun, triple check your surrounding to make sure there's no accidents happening. Again, whichever way you work around your garment, if I am working around a shirt, I'm gonna use my support hand. If I work around a jacket, I may have to use my strong hand using pinky side. It's something that we do when we teach dignitary protection and we work in suits, for example. I'm a big proponent of chunking it up, and what I mean by that, do not try to work on all three steps at the same time. Break it down. Step number one is just clearing your garment, right? So just grab your shirt and pull it up. Do that multiple times before you even try to move on to the grip. And as you get more and more comfortable, start putting steps together in that sequence, and you'll see how your skills become a lot smoother and a lot faster. I want to thank everybody that's been, again, sending questions and comments. We truly do appreciate it. It feeds our ideas for videos for you and make sure that we give you the information that you want. Please make sure to share this content with others. Keep subscribing. Uh, follow us on all social media, being Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And until next time, watch your six.